Hi, you're watching Goodwise channel. I'm Adriana Baranek and I'm joined here today with my team, Antonia Maric, uh, Mladen Baranek and Dragan Samargia. Uh, Antonia will uh, uh, show you Microsoft Teams and Office 365 in the remainder of the video and I'm very happy to let my three colleagues take over. Uh, we wanted to show you today how you can work uh, together uh, with your team uh, with Microsoft from any device, anytime, any place. And uh, we are showing this diversity by uh, joining through uh, Chrome browser. Uh, uh, Antonia and Dragan are both joining from Windows. Um, Laden is joining from Chromebook and I'm uh, joining from Linux Ubuntu. Uh, Microsoft Teams is a great platform for communication and collaboration and uh, the browser of choice for all of us is Chrome uh, and uh, in Chrome you can also use Office 365 easily uh, you can connect with your colleagues uh, and uh, business partners using email a calendar chat video conferencing all the tools and uh, all of the Microsoft Office uh, office productivity um, uh, applications um, but also you can work together on the same document without having to open another application because it is all integrated in teams you will see many very interesting features Microsoft is very strong in the cloud game so uh, uh, we hope that this video will be very interesting for you uh, uh, Antonia please take over hi everybody I'm Antonia and uh, as Adriana already said uh, in today's video, we want to show you how to work together uh, as a team uh, using Office 365 uh, tools like Microsoft Teams. And uh, now I will navigate to uh, office.com and uh, present you with my screen. Okay, so uh, here we are uh, in the Teams. Uh, as you can see on the left side, uh, we have a, uh, some tabs, activity tab, chat, themes, uh, calendar, calls, files, uh, also there are apps, uh, help, and uh, on this button you can download a desktop app. Uh, also, uh, I will show you uh, how to use this uh, search uh, and a command bar here on top. And when you click here, uh, you can see your profile settings and uh, some team settings that we will show you later on. Uh, also, we will show you how to work uh, um, on a document, uh, how to work uh, together in real time. Uh, but for now, uh, let's see how to get started with Teams. So, uh, first thing you want to do uh, probably is to create a new team or join an existing team. So, you will do that by uh, clicking here. Uh, as you can see, um, I have two teams here, uh, Projects team and Miadia US team. Uh, inside uh, every team, I, I have some channels. So the idea is that you really have uh, teams, and inside teams, there are uh, special channels maybe for a certain topic that you uh, want to discuss, or maybe a project, or maybe by department uh, in, your, in your company. So uh, you want to keep this part organized. So when you create a new team, you, you will get a general channel by default. So it's for general stuff. As you can see in this uh, project team, uh, you can see here uh, um, all the activities. So you don't want to discuss uh, every topic inside this channel. So when I want to talk about something related to, to digital transformation, I will go to this channel and start the conversation or attach a file and so on. So uh, you have to keep these parts organized and uh, organize it uh, either by departments in your uh, company or maybe topics or projects, whatever you want. So now I'm just going to show you how to create a completely new team. When you click here, uh, it will open you. Um, it will give you two options to create a team or maybe join a team with the code. So if I have a code, I will enter it here and then join team. But now I, I want to create a new team. So I have an option to create it uh, uh, from scratch or create from an existing uh, Office 365 group of team. Um, I am a member of uh, these two teams, uh, but I am not the owner of Miadria US team. I am the owner of Projects team, so I can create a new team from that team. 
but now I want to build a team from scratch, so I will click here. I can make it private or public. Uh, I will click on private. Uh, I will give my team a name, uh, sales uh, and marketing team. Um, I can add some description or do it later and then click on uh, create. Uh, so the next step would be to add some members to that team. So I will add somebody just to show you. Okay, you select that person and then click add. And also you have an option here to, uh, to make that person an owner or uh, to remove it from team. Uh, and then we will click close. So as you can see, now we have a completely new team here, sales and marketing. We have a general channel inside that team. Uh, and now we will um, show you some options that you have uh, related to a team. When you click on these three dots here, um, you have an option to hide a team if you don't want to see it here on this list. Uh, so let's click hide. Uh, it will be... Um, Hidden, so uh, also show it will it will be shown like this. So as you have uh, as you see, I I have uh, one more hidden team here. It's Miadia US team. So um, also you have an option to manage teams. So here you can manage members. As you can see, I'm the owner. Uh, uh, here is just one person as a member. I can change its role here and. Also remove that person. I can also add guests uh, to teams, so people outside of our uh, organization as well. Uh, here on this tab, uh, pending requests, uh, you will be able to see some pending requests, as it says. And uh, under the channels, uh, you can see your channels. Uh, as you can see, I, I only have one for now. So under the settings, you can do lots of things like uh, change a team picture. You can uh, set some permissions, uh, who can do what uh, inside that channel. Um, also, uh, here are some guest permissions, what they can do or not. Uh, add mentions, settings. Uh, uh, under the team code, uh, you can generate a team code. When you click on generate, it will show you a new code and you can share it with somebody and then that person that uh, can enter your team by entering uh, that code uh, when you click on join team here. So uh, also some uh, settings related to fun stuff here and uh, tags. Also, you can manage uh, who can add tags, owners only or all members. Uh, under the uh, analytics tab, you can see a number of users, messages, uh, applications. And uh, under the Apps tab, you can see all the applications that are installed here by default. You can also uninstall them by clicking here on this trash can sign. Or you can uh, add more apps. When you click here on More Apps, it will uh, open you like. And with lots of apps here on the left side, they're categorized. And uh, here you also have a search bar. So uh, let's go back to settings now. Um, let's see what more you can do with this team. You can add a channel. So maybe I want to add a channel for a project that we are working on. In April, uh, I have to type a project name, April project. Um, I can add a description or not. It's optional. I can also. Uh, set um, some privacy rules here to be accessible to everyone on the team or just uh, or private only to a specific group of people within the team so if I want to create maybe a special team for leadership or something like that I just uh, select this and then uh, I have to add those people to that channel also I will click on uh, automatically show this uh, channel in uh, everyone's channel list and uh, click on add Uh, so now we have a, a new uh, new channel here. So when I want to discuss uh, this April project, I will just click on it and start a new conversation here. Um, so let's see more options here. You also have an option to uh, add member additionally, uh, to leave a team. 
So it's good to know when somebody adds you to their team, you're uh, automatically part of that team. You don't have to accept an invitation. But if somebody maybe by mistake has added you to their team, um, you can uh, leave the team if you want. Also, you can edit team here, name, description, and privacy. Also, you can um, get linked to the team. Uh, here you have uh, an option to manage tags. So let's see that. So uh, tags are a really nice way to uh, address a, a, a certain group of people by creating a special tag for them. So uh, when you want to start a new conversation, you start with that tag, with that people. So you just add a tag name here, add people, and click on create. So every time you use that tag, those people will be notified. Uh, also, you have an option uh, to delete a team if, if you don't need it anymore. So let's see now some channel options here. Uh, I'm on April project. Uh, when I click on these three dots for more option, I have an option uh, to um, uh, change maybe notifications here and the way that I want to be notified. Also, I have an option to pin the channel on top. If this uh, channel is of special importance for me, I, I want to see, uh, see it here on top maybe. Also, I can unpin it. Um, then I can uh, manage channel. Let's see that. Uh, set some uh, channel moderation preferences here. I can um, hide channel. I can get email channel, uh, email address uh, of this channel. So if I want to send an email to this channel, I will use this uh, email that is shown here. I just copy it. So um, also, um, I can get link to the channel, edit, name, and uh, description. Uh, I can also um, add some connectors. So those are like uh, services outside of Teams that send information and content directly into your team's channel. So when you click here, uh, you can see a list of um, applications that you can add uh, to your channel. Uh, we have just one, forms are here by default, but you have lots of applications here that you can connect uh, to Microsoft Teams. Uh, so, uh let's see more options you have an option to, to uh, delete the channel if you don't need it anymore so um so that will be all uh, about options that you have with with teams and channels so so let's see now uh, how to start a conversation maybe i will go to this uh projects team here in which we have this digital transformation um uh, channel so when I want to start a new conversation, I will go here and then I have some uh, formatting options for my text. I can really make it uh, interesting with all these uh, formatting options here. Uh, so I can also, when I click here on new conversation, I have an option to uh, make an announcement. So let's see that. I can, uh, I can uh, uh, write something. I can also make it uh, maybe more personalized. I can, uh, when I click on this uh, exclamation mark, I can make this uh, mark it as important. And um, I can do lots of stuff here, maybe add a table or uh, also I can uh, set here that everyone can reply or maybe you and the moderators can reply. And also I can post in multiple channels, which can be really, Handy if you have lots of channels and you want to maybe notify people on a certain matter, uh, you just select those channels here by clicking on select channels and then uh, find those channels. So, um, uh, also, you have a option to attach something, a file, your recent file, something from Teams and channels, something from your OneDrive. So, here are my files. I can, I can maybe attach something here. Um, also, you can um, make your uh, conversation more interesting using these emojis from Skype and uh, stickers and uh, GIFs. Uh, here you also have an option to uh, meet now when you click on this camera uh, sign. 
to start an ad hoc meeting or you can schedule a meeting from here. So uh, I will also show you how to do that from calendar. Uh, so when you click on these three dots, you can add more extensions here. Uh, for now, I have images, praise, stream, Wikipedia, search, YouTube. So if I want to maybe find an image um, um, on the internet, it will go through Bing search to, to find the uh, image that I want. I can select it and then insert it here into conversation directly. I can also um, find something on Wikipedia. Uh, lion, let's see, it will, it will uh, show me Wikipedia search and I can also insert it here. So as you can see, you can really do lots of stuff uh, inside uh, things. And when you click here on, on these three dots and then on more apps, you can add whatever you want here uh, to be uh, close to you so that you can use it in your um, uh, everyday communication. Um, now I just wanted to show you uh, what you can do with message once you send it. So I have sent these three files here. I can um, maybe post some reactions and also on these three dots. Uh, on more options, I will. Uh, I have an option to save this message, and uh, it will be uh, saved uh, on my profile here. But I will. I will show you that later. Also, uh, I have an option to edit message. I can delete it. I can mark it as unread. I can copy link, share to Outlook, uh, immersive reader is also uh, something very interesting. So let's see that. It's basically an option uh, to adjust um, this message uh, the way that you want. So I can I can hear this message. Uh, also, I can I can uh, set some text uh, preferences here, uh, some grammar options, also reading preferences, and so on. So this can be very handy if you want to read message in a, in a certain way that you want. Uh, also, uh, here you have um, an option to uh, turn off notifications and uh, also you can, when you click on these three dots, you can, uh, uh, when you click on more actions, you can create a new pool here. Um, so maybe I have uh, shared something and I want my coworkers to express their opinion about that. Uh, I want to create a new pool that will be uh, under this message. So I, cl I click on create a new pool. Um, I can uh, ask a question. I can uh, maybe, um, just a second. Okay, so ask a question maybe. Do you like this? Um, give them options, yes, no. Then uh, click on next. Okay, so uh, this pool will be visible under this thread. Okay, so it's here already. Uh, so let's see these tabs here uh, next to the channel name. So the default tabs are uh, posts, files, and wiki. Uh, under the files, I can see the files I have shared uh, inside this uh, conversation. Uh, also, uh, uh, this wiki tab is a um, like some kind of text editor uh, in which you can maybe uh, write something from the conversation, maybe some guidelines or maybe some decisions that were made. Uh, sometimes a chat can be very fast and it's hard to keep a track on everything. So it's good to maybe write something. And this wiki tab is 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 for that. In case you don't need it, you just right click and then click on remove. Uh, you can also add more tabs when you click on this plus sign here. And uh, you can really add whatever you want. So as you can see here, uh, lots of apps and things, uh, you can make them uh, tabs. So um, maybe I want to add our corporate website here. I will click on website and uh, enter name. Uh, an address and then click on save.
Okay, so as you can see next to Wikitab is Miadria, um, Miadria uh, website. So it's easy to access to, to everybody through these tabs. I can really add whatever I want. I can even make a file, a tab. So maybe you have a file that you edit on a daily basis and need it to, to be here and maybe it's related to, to this topic. You can also uh, make uh, it uh, a tab if you want to. So, um, so as you can see, the activity is here. Uh, everything I do is shown here and in the general uh, channel as well. So um, now uh, we will move on uh, to the chat. Um, so everything you post inside these channels and teams, it will be visible to all members. But in case you want to send a message to uh, somebody one-on-one -on -one or maybe call, uh, call that person, you can go to this sign here, new chat. So no matter what you're doing, you can click on that. It's always here. And uh, we're now on the chat uh, tab here. And here I will enter a name of a person uh, I want to chat with offer me my co-workers and uh, we can we can start a new conversation here and we can also when you click here we can start a video call a call and uh, additionally we can add more people here uh, when you click on this time uh, add people. Uh, also those people won't be able to see our chat history from before uh, when you go on the activity tab here, uh, you can see uh, here uh, like um, a summary of everything that has been going on um, inside my channels. So maybe it's a, it's a good thing to start a day with this uh, activity tab to see what's new. You can do some filtering here. When you click on these three dots, more options you can Maybe filter it if you want to see if somebody mentioned you when you click on add mention, or uh, maybe uh, reactions, missed call, and and so on. So uh, also I, I wanted to tell you that when you start a new conversation, it's good to uh, add mention somebody, so that uh, everybody can see that that uh, message or a certain person. So if I just uh, type a message here without out mention somebody. Uh, nobody will be able to see it unless they go to that channel. So I have to add mention somebody or I can add mention entire team. Um, and I click here. Uh, and type a message so everybody will be notified that I have posted something inside this channel. Or add mention a person, whatever you want. Just uh, to, it's good to know if you if you start a conversation without mentioning somebody, nobody will be able to see that. Um, so uh, let's see the calendar tab on the left side when you click here. You will be able to see all your uh, scheduled uh, tasks. Uh, also, it's uh, synchronized with uh, Outlook calendar. So when you um, schedule something here, it will be visible there and vice versa. So I can also meet now from here. And when I click on new meeting and this drop down arrow, I have an option to schedule a meeting. Uh, I have an option to schedule a live events. So if I want to schedule a meeting, I will click here and then um, I have this like uh, form uh, to, uh, to fill. I, can, uh, I will add a title to this meeting. It's required attendees. Uh, set uh, date and time here. Uh, if I want to meet with entire channel, I will add my channel here. Or if I want to meet with just few people, I will add them manually here. So as you can see, uh, it will be shown here when I start to type their names. Uh, also, I can add guests uh, to the meeting in Teams, uh, people who are not uh, uh, using Teams, they can also enter the meeting, which is great. They will be um, invited via email, and all they need to do is just to join the meeting. So, um, also, you can add a location here, you can type some details, and you can use a scheduling assistant here if you want to see uh, which time is the best for all, all, all your co workers. Um, 
when you're done with uh, editing this form, you will just click on send and that's it. So for now, I just wanted to show you how, how to do that. And also you have an option to schedule a live event. So when you click here, it will uh, open this dialog box and you will add uh, um, event name, uh, location, uh, for instance, just a moment. Uh, also, uh, set time uh, and date, maybe some details by, uh, about that event. You can uh, invite presenters here. So let's say I want to uh, invite my uh, co-worker to be a presenter. I'm the producer and then I will click next. So I can um, uh, set some permissions here to make it uh, for only the specific people and groups that can watch the live event or org-wide. I will click here and I will uh, add those people here. But for now, I just want to schedule it. I will be provided with this link that I will share with the people who I want to be uh, present uh, on that live event. And uh, I will close for now. Also, it will be shown here in my calendar. Uh, when I right click it, I can view it, I can chat with participants, I can uh, cancel it. So I will cancel it for now. Uh, so uh, that would be all uh, about calendar. So, so when you click on uh, calls, uh, you can make a new call by clicking here on make a call and uh, select a person here. Uh, and uh, I can start audio call or video call with that person from here. Um, also, um, if you have a, some kind of a calling plan with Microsoft, you will be assigned with the phone number and you will be able to make and uh, receive calls. Um, on files, you can see your recent files, you can see your Microsoft Teams files. Uh, also, Drive is, is here. And uh, you can add uh, additional storage by clicking here on Add Cloud Storage. So uh, also, uh, when you click on these three dots, uh, you have uh, your apps that are installed in Teams. You can find an app here. Um, apps are here as well. So uh, as you can see, they are accessible for, uh, from uh, lots of places inside Microsoft Teams. Um, Let's see this uh, search bar here. So you can uh, search uh, through Microsoft Teams uh, when you click on here and uh, enter the word. And then um, the search will be divided into messages, people, and files. So as you can see, uh, you can also uh, do some additional filtering here. Uh, if I'm looking maybe for some kind of generic term, I, but I know in which team to search, I will click on select team and then I will narrow the, uh, that choice from, from here. So um, also um, besides the search, uh, you can do some commands from here if you uh, enter slash and then you can see uh, all the commands that are available here. Uh, so maybe I want to see my files, files, and then uh, space bar, it will show my files. Also, if I want to maybe uh, call somebody, call and then space bar, uh, and it will, me, it will offer me my, my uh, contacts. And when I click on a certain person, it will uh, automatically call that person. Also, um, I can see what's new inside Microsoft Teams. So, uh, slash, uh, what's new? Let's click on that. And it will uh, open this window um, in which you will be able to see all the news related to Microsoft Teams um, in Teams. So, you don't have to leave Teams. You can also, um, as you can see, something from April. And uh, you can also click on training and maybe um, watch some videos, uh, how to get started with Teams, and so on. 
So uh, you can also do some stuff when you when you type at. It will open my contacts, and also I can find and share images on Bing. I can also uh, search for videos on YouTube. I can send a quick message to somebody when I uh, select a person and just type a message here and hit enter. It will it will uh, send a message to that person. So um, at the moment, I'm working with just few teams and just few messages. But you will probably be working with lots of teams and messages and content. So these are all uh, useful things like this filtering and this uh, search and uh, command bar. It can really help you with your uh, everyday work. So it's uh, it's just a thing of habit. So uh, so let's see now what you can do uh, in this uh, profile section here. When you click here, you can change your picture. Uh, you can set your status uh, status message here. Also, you can um, see your saved messages. So previously, I, I have saved this message, and it's shown here. Um, also, uh, you can uh, see some settings when you click on settings. So, like some general settings here, theme. You can change your theme. Uh, also, you can uh, set language preferences for, uh, here. Um, so let's go back to the default. Um, some privacy rules here. Also, notifications. You can set them here. And uh, call settings are the last. You can also forward your calls. You can configure your voicemail. Change the ringtone. So when you click on configure voicemail, you can record the greeting um, and uh, also uh, various other stuff here. So um, additionally, you can uh, see some keyboard shortcuts in case you uh, like to use those. They're here also. And um, you have an option to uh, download the desktop app or the mobile app and uh, sign out. So before we sign out, we just wanted to show you uh, how to work together as a team uh, on a document. So we have a Word uh, file and Excel table that we will be editing in real time. And we will show you how to do that uh, together as a team. So uh, as you can see, Microsoft Teams um, uh, really is a great platform. Uh, the idea behind Microsoft Teams is really that you have it all uh, in one place, like all your chats, conversations, uh, video calls, uh, your contacts, your um, applications. Uh, you can really customize it uh, in the way that you want. So let's move on to the uh, editing of, of a Word file or Excel file. So thank you. Okay, I will take over from here. Uh, I will just share my screen. So I hope you see my screen now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will go under Digital Transformation Channel Files. And we have some of the files here prepared for, for uh, editing. So basically, when I open the Microsoft Word, document it will open in the teams application web app of teams and all of my colleagues are able to change edit this file simultaneously with me so mm -hmm. you can do some stuff like uh, i don't know maybe formatting the text uh, editing new text uh, uh, into the document uh, you can easily copy, paste anything that you can do with uh, Microsoft Word uh, online app or Microsoft Word uh, desktop application. And this is the great thing for versioning because every one of your colleagues have the same version of the document as you do. And uh, there are no more uh, many versions of the document, mailing, uh, changing, saving. So everything is is already saved in the Microsoft Cloud. So this is the example of how uh, Word document is working. We all 
also have uh, a Excel table. So basically you have almost the same interface as you do in, in Excel web app or Excel desktop application. You can easily uh, add some data uh, inside just as you would do in, in, in regular Excel. You can make some you can make some uh, formulas, calculations. <clears throat> so everything that's already familiar to you. And uh, also you can select some data, make some charts or, or pivot tables. So it is really handy and convenient to be able to uh, do some stuff like this, uh, just having a web browser and not uh, worrying about what operating system you are on and uh, what device you are on. So this is something that Microsoft really improved in the last couple of years. So that would be just a short exa example of how, how you can uh, work together in the documents and uh, it really works great. So as I said uh, earlier, we have shown now uh, how to edit files inside Teams. So as you can see, the idea is that you don't really need to leave Teams in order to do your job uh, properly. You can easily communicate, chat, create new channels, connect other applications, uh, third-party applications to your Microsoft Teams. So um, also you can, you can um, edit uh, files, uh, add your cloud storage, uh, really whatever you want. So I think um, that this is really a great platform that uh, has it all, like in meaning of uh, good communication and collaboration as a team. Um, thank you so much, Antonia. Uh, so this was an amazing presentation. And uh, if you have a weekend wrap up for today, uh, I hope that we showed you how Microsoft has changed and how different this way of working is from the old way of working where people were used to have applications on their laptops this is um, uh, a mode in which you can log in from any browser, from any computer, from any mobile phone, and just work with your colleagues in Microsoft Teams. Uh, so if you have any other questions, uh, please uh, do not hesitate to contact us in any way. I would like to thank my colleagues Antonia, Dragan, and Mladen for taking the time to join me in this video. And uh, we are all at your disposal anytime for all of your needs uh, re related to the remote work, to cloud computing, to anything that can really help you become more efficient and more uh, uh, productive in all your endeavors. Thank you so much, and we see you soon on our users channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.